the head honcho, the man who runs it all. Coach, please introduce yourself. Okay, I'm, I'm Alan Johnson, head track and field coach at North Carolina A&T State University. He's just so modest, even when you say he's an Olympian, <laughs> you know, four uh, world titles, this championship sprinter, hurdler, the best I have seen done it. And it seems like 1996 was just yesterday. So you're aging gracefully, Coach. I really appreciate that. Well, thanks. So, I, I appreciate it. Uh, so how did you get into sprinting and hurdling? Well, um, it all started originally in high school. Okay. Up in Northern Virginia, Lake Braddock Secondary School. Okay. I went out for the track team, and uh, I just tried a little bit of everything, jumping and, and hurdling. Oh, wow. And, uh, and I progressed and went on to the University of North Carolina. Okay. And, uh, and that's where I really started focusing more on the, on the 110 hurdles. Okay. So uh, you were Tar Heel. So yes. what brought you to Aggieland? What brought me to Aggieland? Well, uh, so I ran for 17 years, yes. trained, mm -hmm. and then once I retired, I got into coaching. Right. Started off at the Air Force Academy. Okay. Out in Colorado Springs. And from there, I went to the University of Kentucky. Wow. Uh, did that for two years up until 2016, and then 2016 went to North Carolina State University. Okay. And all these were assistant positions. Okay. Um, my dream was to become a head coach once I got into the coaching okay. profession. And then uh, this past spring, 2022, uh, okay. the job here at ANT opened up. It was it was right down the street, and uh, really my entire time in state, I watched how a and T's track program just it blossomed. Right. Yeah. And um, and I was from a distance. Right, I'm kind of right, I'm, right. like, yeah, I'm like I'm like wow, they're, you know, they're, they're doing pretty good. So that position opened up and you jumped right in. Yeah, and I jumped right in. And I'm. I'm Firm believer in that this track program is in great hands. I was there, well obviously we took a picture together, but mm -hmm. I was there last weekend at y'all home opener and you guys stole the show and I don't even think you were trying to win it. Well we're always trying to win. <laughs> I don't know. Always, I, always but it just always you, trying to win. All, I mean, it, it was uh it was something to see. I, I will say that. Um, so the program is in good hands. I really appreciate you uh, and what you're doing and how you're taking the program. We're going to move it to the next level. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, guys. We have made our way down to the track, and we are talking with some of the track and field coaches. And I'm sitting here with one of the coaches. Coach, please introduce yourself. Hello. My name is Kwame Prince. Um, 800 all the way to cross country coach here at a and I've uh, been here for about five months now. And um, so far, so good. I'm enjoying it. All right. So, Coach, what is your experience in track and field? Uh, so I've been running since I was six years old. I uh, went to Tennessee State, um, ran there all four years. Ended up uh, going pro, ran with Under Armour for five years. Um, started coaching at George Washington University. I was there for about a year, and then uh, the position here at a and opened up, and um, reached out and was able to get a job. Oh, so, and now you're, I'm here. so you're an HBCU grad? HBCU all grad, right, TSU, all, right. all the way. All right, well, hey, we're not gonna say about that, <laughs> because you know what I'm gonna get you to do at the end, right? What's so we'll, you'll see in just a all second. Right. So what has been your greatest experience since being at North Carolina a and uh, Honestly, just being able to coach um, talent. I feel like I have a good amount of talent here. Okay. Um, and, you know, I'm just enjoying, you know, seeing the process so far. And, um, you know, hopefully we get something, you know, good out of it. Okay. So, yeah. All right, guys, if you've been following a and track and field, you know this coach does not need an explanation or introduction. But, Coach, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Amber Monroe. Um, I'm the throws coach here at a and Coach, where are you from? I'm from Miami, Florida. So how did you get into, like, track and field and coaching and throwing and stuff like that? Um, so I started um, – as an athlete at University of Miami. Then I went on to um, do graduate school at James Madison University. And a part of that um, program, I needed an internship. So I did it at um, JDL Fast Track. And after I ended my internship, um, I ended up just getting an opportunity here. And, and it's been awesome. So you said you went to JMU, right? Yes. Isn't it true that you hold every throws record at JMU? Not quite, not hammer and weight, but I actually didn't complete in those events. But indoor shot put, outdoor shot put, um, disc and discus, I'll hold those. So everyone you threw in, you hold the record? Yes. <laughs> All right. So how long have you been at uh, a &T? Um, This is my sixth year. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you, I bet you have a lot of stories, but what has been your greatest experience since you've been at North Carolina a &T? 
Um, I guess just winning championships, um, seeing the kids grow and develop, um, and just seeing them have a great time and, you know, grow as people. Okay. And y'all competed this past weekend, right? Yes. How did the throwers do? Um, they did pretty good. Um, out of the four events, um, we won three. Um, and one of my guys, he had an indoor um, personal best of 1730, um, 39. And... Wow. <laughs> And then I had a freshman that opened up at 1694. So it was pretty good. Awesome, awesome yeah. coach. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, what's up? We're on the campus of North Carolina A&T and we was walking, heading down to the track and I saw this guy in a warm up that looks like he was an athlete. So I decided to stop him and ask him. So please introduce yourself. So my name is Thomas Smith. I'm a freshman here at North Carolina A&T. I do the hurdles and I'm from Baltimore. Oh. Shout out 410. So um, you're a hurdler. You went to, what high school did you go to? I went to Calvary Hall. Okay. So what's been your great experience? I know you're a freshman, so what's been your great experience since being on campus? Uh, probably Geo. <laughs> uh, maybe like the first, because last week was our first uh, meet. Okay. So that was really fun, just going out with the team, having fun, and just getting business. You guys killed it up there too. Oh yeah. Y'all won like by 40 points or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that was that was awesome to see. We're trying to shock the world this year. But you already have. <laughs> All right guys, we are walking the yard again and I just saw another student athlete with some gear on that looked like they're an athlete. I'm, I can bet, guarantee you I know what sport she plays, but I'm gonna let her introduce herself and tell her what sport she plays. Hi, my name is Cameron, or I go by Paige. Uh, I'm actually a weight thrower and hammer thrower for the track and field team here. I'm a freshman on the field, but a sophomore here at a &T. Okay, where you from? Uh, Clemens, North Carolina, which is like by Winston. I say Clemens, but you know, people don't know where Clemens is at because it's like a little suburb town in Winston. But okay, in Winston or the other side of Winston? Uh, uh, yeah, by Winston. You know, Lexington, Lexington yep. North Carolina? Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. And you are a sophomore in the classroom, but a freshman on the field? Freshman on the field, yeah. Oh, wow. So we still, so we still got four years with you. Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> so, um, what's your major? Um, kinesiology right now. Hey! Science, science, yeah. That was my major when I was here, that's why yes. I was here. All right, so, um, what has been your best experience since you've been on campus? Um, coming from a high school that was predominantly white, I guess it's just like seeing my culture and like being around my people really. It's just been like welcoming, very welcoming, like eye-opening, like being here and just like enjoying. I don't know, the atmosphere is just different from your average, you know, college experience. It's very different. I enjoyed a lot. So you said you were a thrower? Yes. And shot and disc? Uh, um, no, hammer. Uh, weight, hammer, and I was working on shot, but I don't think that's going to be this year, but weight and hammer for sure. I'm doing weight indoor okay. and hammer outdoor. Awesome, awesome. Well, I thank you so much for taking the time talking with us. All right, guys, we made it back here. I have another athlete that I want to introduce you guys to. So, young man, please introduce yourself. Uh, hey, how y'all doing? My name is uh, Braden Hodges. I'm from Fort Worth, Texas, so that's about uh, 25 minutes out of Dallas. I'm actually a sophomore here studying kinesiology and uh, I'm a thrower on the track team. So you're from Texas, how did you get to North Carolina? So really, actually, I signed to University of Arkansas out of high school okay. and then, uh, like I said before, I was in that COVID group. Okay. So just, it was a lot of, um, a lot of messed up things going on and I had a surgery and whatnot. So I just kind of, one day just went and prayed, prayed about it and prayed that I was led to, you know, a better situation, a better school and what, uh, whatnot. And I actually reached out to the coach last year sometime, well, right before I came. And that was probably like on a Thursday. And, you know, by that, uh, by that next week on a Monday, I was already, I was signed here. Wow. So, yeah, so that was pretty much how I got here. Them Aggies do, boy. That's all yeah. I can say. Them Aggies. And you're a praying Aggie, too. Yeah, I am. I am. All right. So, uh, kinesiology major. So what got you interested in kinesiology? Uh, just really sports, I think, you okay. know, when being around that, so I want to be a strength coach. Okay. So being around that weight room environment, I feel like it's taught me a lot on how to be uh, just a better person. You okay. know, just the, I think the uh, the essence of going to the weight room and, and failing at something and then trying to get better at it, that's something that you can apply to life. So that's something that I've always wanted to do and just coach up athletes to be better. And so, uh, so that's something that kinesiology is going to, you know, push me to be able to reach my goals. Okay. Awesome, man. That's a good answer. So, um, you're on the track team, you're a sophomore, yep. and you guys just competed last weekend, yep. and y'all showed out. We did. You showed out. So, you you throw, right? I do. So, uh, what did you throw last week? 
I went 17.32. So uh, you and convert what? that to feet, 17.32 meters. In, in, in the shot put. In the shot put. In the shot put. So that will be uh, 56 feet, 10 inches. Okay. What place you get? I end up getting first. Okay, all right. Hopefully now, we can continue that. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's keep that going. Let's keep that going. Just out of curiosity, what, what team got second? In the whole meet? No, I'm talking in that in the, in the shot. I think we did as well. I don't see that first and second, huh? What you say Aggies do? Them Aggies do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah. All right, man. So it's, it's been awesome speaking with you, man. Yourself, you look like a grown man, man. You like somebody daddy, to be honest with you, man. You sitting over there taking all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you like that. Yeah, huh? sir. So I, I think strength and conditioning is going to be, you and a good major, great uh, instructors over there because that was my major when I was here. Okay, okay. And uh, I really appreciate you. Thank you for being an Aggie, man. I really do appreciate you. Definitely. Thank but, you. All right, guys. It's Coach G here. Again, I'm with another athlete. We're going to interview and someone who's still tearing up the track, right? So please, introduce yourself to the audience. I'm Knox Witherspoon. I'm a freshman on the, on the track team. I do the mile and 800 and stuff like that. What, you're a freshman? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, and you, you, put, you competed last weekend, huh? Yeah, so uh, I had no time since, since I haven't ran yet this, this season. Um, so they had me in the slower heat. Um, I ended up winning that heat, but uh, coming in fifth overall. But yeah, you won that heat by a lot. There's like no one around you. Uh, yeah, it, it was actually, there was someone um, kind of leading the race for a long time. And then on the last lap, I kind of kicked it and, um, and went by him. But uh, yeah. You guys want to see that race. You see, he just blew past him. It was crazy. I did not know you were a freshman, man. Mm -hmm. So we got a lot of big things headed for you throughout yeah. your next three or four years, huh? Yeah, definitely. All right, so um, where are you from again? Uh, Brevard, North Carolina. Brevard. How yeah. many high schools in Brevard? Um, in the town, there's just, just one. Um, and then in the, the bigger city, uh, there's a lot more. But yeah, just one where I'm from. Wow. How did you get to North Carolina A&T? Um, so I knew, I knew I wanted to go somewhere like very diverse whenever I was in high school. I wanted like a big change in scenery from, mm -hmm. from like the demographic of my school. Um, okay. And then when I saw like the track team, how, how they were like breaking records mm -hmm. and, and all that, that was just kind of like the icing on the cake. So I came for a visit, um, really liked the facility, okay. really liked like the environment, the feel of it. So, and the coaches were all great. So all right. that kind of like sealed the deal. All right, so what's been your, I know you're freshman, mm -hmm. but what's been your most memorable experience, so memorable experience so far since you've been here? Um, I'd say definitely the meet last weekend. Um, like the whole team flew out, um, got to spend like, like four days in New York City. So oh, wow. that was like, like a dream come true for the first meet, you know? Oh wow, that's yeah. good, man. All right, everyone out there in Aggieland, of course you see I'm sitting here with another athlete. Young man, please introduce yourself to the audience. How y'all doing? I'm Dawson Grogan. I'm a freshman from PG County, Maryland, and I'm on the track team and I run the 800. All right, so you do the 800, huh? Yes, sir. So PG County, there's a lot of HBCUs up there. Yeah. So how'd you get down to North Carolina A&T? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, when I came on my visit, uh -huh. it just felt like home here. Yeah. Uh, they showed me around, I looked at the classes, I looked at the atmosphere, G-Ho played a part, <laughs> you know, I just, Yep, I liked how the people did it in Aggieland, so I feel like I made the right choice. Okay, so homecoming did it for you. Yeah, for okay. Sure. Uh, got you away from that area, sure. but I appreciate it, man. You, you had a good race last week. A couple of hiccups we were talking about off camera, man, but you know you fix. You're a freshman. You got another three to four years, I hope, yep. to run. So what are you hoping to accomplish in those next years? Uh, so I definitely want to break 150. That's one thing I've been looking forward to in high school, but I tweaked my hamstring, so I didn't really get a chance to uh, perform on my max potential. Okay. But I want to do that, and I definitely want to go to nationals before I uh, leave here. I okay. got to go to nationals. Amen. So what, what's your major? Uh, I'm a um, business entrepreneur majorship. I okay. mean, business entrepreneur. Okay. So yeah. my, this is, I'm a graduate of North Carolina A&T, so I am an Aggie. I'm bleeding blue and gold, so I, I know. Uh, I'm, my minor is entrepreneur in uh, business so, market. So, so I appreciate it, man. So you did your thing out there from PG County. So you're a freshman. Yes, sir. So I know you just got here, but I got to ask, what has been your most memorable, exp memorable experience since you've been here? Memorable? Uh... We had a lot of fun. <laughs> me, and, me and my friends. Don't give, don't give anything away now, cause nah, I, I, I got you. We, we, ooh, I don't know. That's a tough one. Uh, I probably have to say Gio. Gio, we, we were doing everything. We went to the bowling alley, then we hit a party, then we come back, watch the game. 
us. Like we just we was just having a lot of fun. So I, I couldn't even tell you that. What's good, y'all? My name is Jalen Chen. Uh, I'm a junior. I'm also the distance captain for North Carolina A&T's track team. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I went to high school outside of Philadelphia, Pancras High School. And I'm glad to be here. All right, awesome, man. Jalen Chen, that's a different last name, man. You know, what's the origin of that? So my great-grandpa's from China, and he moved to Jamaica. So then he met my great-grandma, and then they had my grandpa, and then... A Chinese Jamaican. And then I'm also Trinidadian on my dad's side, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's Trini. Nigeria. I'm a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, you are, and you are fast. That's another thing you are. So you guys did your thing last week, huh? Yeah. So we were talking about that off camera, man. So what was the one thing you learned from last weekend that you can take away? Well, I learned a lot. I really learned a lot because usually an old me would not, I would make a thousand excuses. I wouldn't look at my race video. Yeah. I would have, it would have took me like a month to actually do that. So I feel like I matured more. Okay. I watched my race. I talked it over with my coach and my father, so okay. I knew exactly what I did wrong. So, okay. one thing I knew I did wrong was I let the spotlight take me. I didn't take control of the spotlight. Right. So I let the cameras and the armory lights. I was like, oh, I'm here in a big. I, I'm a win. All right. I win. Yeah. I went in thinking like a winner. I didn't win nothing yet. So. Right. I get you. So you gotta know with that on. The spotlight's always gonna be on you. Yeah. So just be ready for it. Yeah. Right. So it's, so, it's new. So, okay. I mean, and news not always bad. So I mean, this is a, a good thing. So okay. I just gotta, you gotta adjust to change. So. Okay. So what's your major? My major is supply chain management. Okay. You looking for an internship? Yes. I think. Okay. I, I got some ideas for you. Okay. okay. So how did you get to? Uh, how did you get to North Carolina A&T? Well, my junior year, I ran summer track and Junior Olympics was here. Oh, okay. So when I first came here, I was like, it's hot, too hot, I don't want to come here. But I don't know, like, I was applying to all these other schools, but nothing really was calling, and I got waitlisted here at first. Mm. So I waited a couple months and I got in. So like, like I said, patience is key. So okay. I got in and I was just so excited. Like I. Out of every other school, out of Penn State, LSU, I had all these other big power five schools. But like this one was just, it meant so much to me. For wow. some reason, I never even visited the campus, like the whole campus, I just took the risk. Oh wow. Because I, I came here during COVID, so oh, okay, I took okay. the risk. It worked out for you. I met so many friends, people that I call family. This okay. is, the track team's a big family, I love it here. All right, so I got a question. Have you, have you raised Coach Q yet? No, I want to. You want to? I want to. Is he running from you? Uh, he, Coach Q, you running? Last <laughs> week, last week he kind of did. He said, we're going to race to the line. I said, what line are we racing to? He took off. He didn't say what line. <laughs> I, I would have beat him. I would have beat him. I, I said I would have beat him. You would have beat him? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Man. So um, since you've been here, what's been your most memorable experience? On, on the track or off the track? Anywhere, yeah. Well, on and off. Off the track, I'd say all the friendships and family I met. Okay. Like people I can, can I can count on that come support me, watch my races. Okay. That and that's also hard. My family's seven hours away, so they can't make my race. So having people that just that don't run come watch me run, or people okay. that do run come support me. Okay. All the memories I made with them and just, just being able to say have people I can call family. Look, when I graduate, I can. Right. I'm family too, so yeah. you can call me Uncle G from Uncle now on, okay? G. Uncle G. Yeah. Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach G here. I'm down here on the track, uh, trying to get some athletes, the ones getting ready to go to practice, and some that are finishing practice. So, uh, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Good, how are uh, you? So please, introduce yourself to the audience. Um, I'm LaVey Melton. I'm a 800 miler runner here at NCAT. Okay, so mm -hmm. what's your major? Um, my major is psychology, and then I plan to go on graduate school for nursing. Okay. Yeah. You want to be a psychologist? I don't know what that means. <laughs> a psychic nurse, a psychologist yeah, nurse. So, yeah, yeah. like, what are you, what are you hoping to do with that? Um, I really just want to be a nurse, but probably in like psychiatric, psychiatric field. Okay, I get something that. Something like that. Yeah. That. What year are you? Um, I'm a senior. Oh, so you, you got. You got like some months before you out there. Mm -hmm. All right. And your 800 meter runner and miler? Yes. All right. So uh, did you uh, run last weekend? 
I sure did. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you said it. So how'd you do that <laughs> since you smile like that? Um, I did pretty good. I won my heat, but it wasn't the time I wanted. So. What place you get overall? Um, I got six overall. Okay. So you score points? Yes. See that? That's them Aggies. Aggies just did. Mm -hmm. right. And you say where are you from? I'm from Hamden, Connecticut. Wow. That's way up there. Mm -hmm. It's cold up there right now, too. Yes, it, it is. So how did you get from Connecticut to NCAT? Um, well, I'm a transfer student. I was originally at um, Kentucky, and I transferred here um, for, for last years? year. Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. All right, I know some people at Kentucky, too. Mm -hmm. so, so you're here, a &T, transferred in. Mm -hmm. What has been your most memorable experience so far since being here? Um, Probably meeting my teammates. They've been good friends to me. And just coming from a PWI to HBCU, I've always wanted to like be around more. It's a different yeah, it's definitely is different. So it's like going from skim milk to chocolate. Milk. Yeah, so <laughs> exactly. Saying, we'll, we'll leave it like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um, you want to be a nurse, everything you with that. So what do you help to accomplish out of your senior season? Or oh, is this your senior season? Is this your last season? Yes, it is. So what do you hope mm -hmm. to accomplish? Um, I don't know. I just want some big PRs and just make fun out of it. It's my last year, so I just want to enjoy it as much as possible. What's up, guys? Coach G here. We're still on the track, and I got another athlete here with me. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Fadi Kelly. Um, I'm from Washington, D.C., and I run the 800. That's the event I focus on. So, so, wait a minute. When you say that that's the event you focus on, like, what other events do you do? I can do the mile, set the uh, 400. I like the 400. 3,000? Pushing it. Pushing it. <laughs> Steeple chase? Nope. No, nope. just, just eight in the mile. Huh? Yeah. Okay, in the 400. All right, cool. Did you participate? Did you run last weekend? Yes. All right, so what events did you do last weekend? Uh, I did the 800 and I did the 4x4. Four four. How'd you do? Uh, good place. Not the time I wanted, but we get in there first week well, of the season. But so. well, the four by four won it, didn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, I was second. on the BT. The one that got second. Yeah. Oh, okay. See that first second. Anyway, mm -hmm. so you are from Washington, Washington DC. DC. Yeah. How did you get to North Carolina A and T? Um, I really wanted to stay close to home. I didn't want to go too far. And um, when talking to the coaches and hearing about the girls, I was like, okay, this is something where I want to be. When I finally met them, I was glad I picked this group. Okay. So, I get so, yeah. so, since you've been here, mm -hmm. what has been your most memorable experience? Um, I would say participating more in the Aggie activities. Last year, I wasn't. I was too much so, but the girls here brought me out a lot. Okay. And it's fun campus to be on. So, you're talking like, G-Ho, Homecoming, oh, everything, everything. Homecoming was lit. Should've been here. <laughs> so I got a question. What would you say to someone who would, uh, who's interested in coming to an HBCU or to North Carolina A and T? Uh, I would say this is the best experience you gonna get. Come to A and T. A and T. <laughs> as a student, that doesn't answer. You gotta be good to become an athlete. Oh yeah. yeah. So, um, all right. So that's cool. So um, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. But before you go, you know what I need. I know what you need. Aggie Pride! You know? <laughs>